Both Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Chancellor Rishi Sunak have paid their fines for attending a lockdown breaching party in June 2020. But in the face of intense criticism and calls to resign, the two politicians have indicated they want to leave it all behind them. I accept in all sincerity that people had the right to expect better. And now I feel an even greater sense of obligation to deliver on the priorities of the British people. I will take that forward, that, uh, that task, with due humility, but with maximum determination to fulfil my duty and do what is best for the country I serve. The party was a surprise for Johnson's 56th birthday, organised by some of his colleagues at number 10. He said he spent less than 10 minutes in the room and that it did not occur to him that the gathering might be breaching Covid rules. Johnson and Sunak have both paid £50 for breaking the law. But it doesn't heal the broken trust felt by the British public. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer said it's a slap in the face to all the people who obeyed the rules. They made heart-wrenching decisions uh, and they feel incredible guilt for relatives they didn't see, funerals they didn't go to, weddings they didn't go to, even the birth of their own children. But the guilty men are the Prime Minister and the Chancellor. They've dishonoured all of that sacrifice. They've dishonoured their office. Starmer called for their resignations, as did other opposition MPs. Scottish National Party leader Ian Blackford said Johnson lied when he had said the parties didn't happen and that he hadn't attended. The Prime Minister, if he's a man of honour, if he's a man of integrity, then he would have gone by now. But if he won't do the right thing, then he needs to be dragged in front of Parliament. And parliamentarians, particularly those on the Conservative side, have got to show some moral fibre, have got to recognise that this man simply cannot carry on in office. Several cabinet ministers wrote messages on social media in support of Johnson. They praised his leadership during Covid and Brexit, as well as over the war in Ukraine. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps says he understands how the British public feels. Not least because I couldn't see my own dad, who I didn't know whether we'd see again, ever. Uh, so I completely get it. Uh, I also know that it wasn't done out of malice or with sure. intent. Uh, it was a mistake, an error. Uh, and I judge somebody overall for the way that they uh, perform. And I think actually in other ways, including, you know, what President Zelensky said about the prime minister uh, leading and leadership role in the, in the world this, this week, uh, I think actually is very important as well. Senior civil servant Sue Gray will release her full report into the allegations of rule breaking after the Met have concluded their investigation. Malcolm Hudson, NTD News, London.